Welcome back. My goodness, it's good to see you. It's been a little while, hasn't it? What you been up to? How you been? You look different, but like in a good way. Like you look like you're doing better. I'm just playing with you. You look horrible. That's actually foreshadowing because what we're doing today, we're having good, clean, honest people go up against deceit people with long noses, okay? What's better, to be honest with someone, tell them they look horrible, or to deceive them and tell them that, hey, you look nice? Let's find a little more even of a map, shall we? Wow, what even is that? One more, come on, give it to me. Bro, please. Is this a joke? Actually, this is perfect. This is perfect, okay. This is cool, I like this. Okay, so we're gonna do humans versus humans. I feel like this is a good starting spot and this is a good starting spot. Although this is kind of bigger than this. Let's clear this out just a smidge because I don't want people to yell at me for making the video unfair. There we go. That seems about right. Okay, very cool. Let's start this off. Okay, let's put a good amount over here. Say 25, all right? You guys are such honest folk, such good people. You just want to tell people how you feel and, you know, you don't want to cheat the system. You want to play by the rules and we respect that. But you're also, I don't know, a little boring. <laughs> Over here we have the dishonest people. The people that got their own ideas. They're gonna stab you in the back at their first opportunity. They're gonna steal your money. They're gonna scam you. They're gonna take everything you've got. They're bald. Compassion in the history. All for I. These are some weird slogans. So we're just gonna call you Honest Boys and The Liars. Okay, they both have a good amount of starting land, right? They got kind of mountains up top and bottom. They got a nice middle area to uh, spread into. Just two small islands, nothing too crazy. This one's on fire, that's okay. This one's got candy on it, that's pretty cool. Do you think that the liars will deceive their way upwards or downwards? Hmm, that's what we're here to find out. The honest boys, will they befriend the pond through trustworthy negotiations and keep their word? Ooh, they're making a dock already. They're gonna go make a deal with the fish. Hey, how about this? You hop in the boat and I'll leave your family alone. The liars are gonna scam the fish. Hey, hop on the boat, I'll give you five bucks. Surprisingly, no population growth so far. It's been 13 years now. 25 versus, whoa, 27, 29, 26, come on guys. They're doing a lot of honest work and I respect that, but uh, you, gotta, you gotta increase your population here. Look at these guys. Man, they're actually cooking. Look at that, 44, 36. But see, it's not about the numbers. Okay, the honest boys understand that. They know that, hey, look, as long as we work together and we keep a lot of trust between us, no one can get in the way of that. And I mean, I don't know if that'll work or not, but it's a nice idea at least. The liars are like, hey, go set up a new village. I'll be right behind you. <laughs> hey, why don't you go gather some berries? I'll pay you 20 bucks. And then they don't. But the person that grabs the berries, you know, you think they're the ones that get scammed, but they actually just picked a bunch of poisonous berries. You know, you always got to stay one step ahead. That's why this place is going to be absolute chaos. Look at this guy, 40 years old. He likes pies, but he's still sad. You know why? Because lying doesn't get you further in life. You know, it actually holds you back. You gotta be honest with folks. Also, how come they're so unlucky? They're like, they're all unlucky. I didn't do that. I made them deceitful, but I did not make them unlucky. Why, are they, why is every single one of them unlucky? Oh, what on earth? Is there a way to remove traits? No, there isn't. Dude, literally everyone in this world is unlucky. I didn't do that. Oh, I did do that. Look, it was equipped down here. Okay, so I did that. All right, all right. My fault, my fault. Everyone's unlucky. <laughs> Why is there no way to remove traits? That's really annoying, actually. Oh well, we're in it too deep, all right? As long as everyone has that trait, it doesn't really change anything. 94 to 106, 110. They are definitely above in population by a little bit, but the honest boys are kind of catching up. And look at this honest army. Wait a second, no way? Is that Honest Abe? Just a little humor for you. Just joking around over here. Okay, what do we got over here? Anyone anyone noteworthy? Any particularly good liars? I've noticed a lot of these people over here are sad. I mean, this guy likes jam. I like it. Who just likes jam? Don't get me wrong. I like jam. If your favorite thing was like jam on toast and someone asked you what your favorite food is, you wouldn't just say jam. It would be like jam on toast. Like, you're not eating jam right out of the container, are you? Tell me you're lying. In fact, maybe you are lying. Maybe you're a liar. Huh. All right, here's a question for you. What does the king of liars look like? Ugavali. And he likes bread. 
Okay, he's actually normal attitude. He's not sad like his entire kingdom is. What does the honest king look like? Udesi, and they like sushi. Interesting. Sushi. Is that the most honest food in the world? You just eat a fish, you know? Maybe cooking a fish is deceitful. Now we're onto something. Bread does seem kind of deceitful, doesn't it? Why is it so good? You know, it's gotta be up to something. Bread's kind of a scam too. You'd eat it, it's so tasty, and it's technically made out of like plants. You know, it's made out of like grains and stuff or whatever. Flour, but it's bad for you? Huh? Excuse me? That's pretty deceitful. Okay, here we go. They're making another honest village up here by this like weird shaped spike lake. Kind of sick actually. That's kind of that's kind of cool. I like that. And look at these. That's pretty cool. I'm excited for the new generation tools that comes with the new update. Oh, our king died. Bummer, dude. But our new king, will you be a good leader? He's giant, and he's honest about his height, too. Yeah, I'm 6'5", and he actually is. 217 to 190. Oh, the king of the liars is dead, and we got a new one. This guy means business. He likes war and tea. All right, what a guy. Oh, no way. So honest boys just made a new village. And look at that, three, what, 350? 316, what are you guys doing? You better start fudging the numbers a little bit. Bump those numbers up, you're looking kind of weak. They've expanded quite slow. Looks like now they're doing it, but this wasn't here a second ago and neither was this. They pretty much stayed in this starting area for like a little too long. They were all lying amongst themselves. It's hard to get work done when everyone's lying. It's like, hey man, did you set up that new village like I asked you to? You got it, boss. Of course I did. Cool. I'm gonna go take my lunch break. I'll be back in 30 minutes. And then they don't come back to work ever again. You know? Hard to get work done when everyone's a liar. 427? 387? Why are they not at war yet? Probably any second. I think whoever gets this upper area is gonna have a nice advantage. This is a lot of, a lot of good defensible land. Oh, there we go. Honest boys declared war. I expected it to be the other way around, but it looks like they know something's gotta happen. Oh man, why are the deceitful boys doing so much better in the war? It was like two even-sized armies, and I feel like the deceitful boys just walked right through them. I'm sorry, the liars. Ooh, there we go. Taking over. Oh no, losing the front lines. I imagine the liars just come in here, and they're like, oh yeah, we captured this, by the way. And they were like, oh shoot, did you? Okay. Don't even have to fight, just tell them that you already won. It's genius. All right, come on, hang in there, dudes. I do naturally want the honest boys to win, but it'd be funnier if the liars won. You know, I think we did content versus greedy. I think greedy won, and that was funny. I liked that. I'm all about the I'm all about the laughs. You know, I, I, this doesn't have to be some big moral lesson. You know, honesty. I would say in real life, I would say, hey, be honest. Don't be a liar. But in the game, this is funnier. But they're actually getting destroyed right now. They're getting pulverized. Honesty does not look good on them. I tell you what. The honest boys are coming in here and saying it's honesting time and they're honesting all over the place. I tell you what. Man, that was really quick. Goodness gracious. They were only like, what, 50, 60 population apart, I think? Maybe a, maybe like 100 population apart at the beginning of the war. Maybe even less than that. But the honest boys absolutely walked over them. Like that looked easy. They did not even sweat on that thing. Wow. Okay. Well, um, they just, I guess they got mad. You don't want to see an honest person mad because then they'll honestly destroy you. They were down by population for like the whole time and then they randomly spiked population and then declared war and then annihilated them. <laughs> okay, cool. Good, uh, good moral lesson. Be honest. Don't be a liar. Are you subscribed? Don't lie to me, okay? Be honest with me. Are you subscribed to me? Did you like the video already? They haven't updated the game in like a year and uh, your boy needs some new content, okay? But I'm still trying to make <laughs> videos that are fun with very limited things to work with. So if you honestly enjoyed this, honestly subscribe eh, or don't. I don't really care. I do care, obviously. We haven't done one of these trait versus trait videos in a while. It's kind of nice. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. My favorite part was when the honest boys said it's honesting time and then honested all over the place. That was really cool. I really enjoyed that. Okay. Mm, bye.